Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One and today is the day we find out. Do we sign Lionel Messi on a free on the pre-contract deal? If you missed yesterday's episode and you want to know exactly how this came about, then check the uh, the annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen to take you to yesterday's video or, uh, or of course check the channel page that will be available for you there. Now he rejected the initial offer of £400,000 a week so I, uh, I fiddled with my budget so I'm going to offer him £450,000 pounds a week and we'll see if Leo wants to sign that deal you guys told me in the comments in yesterday's video that uh, you were in your experience Leo doesn't tend to uh, to want to leave Barcelona at all regardless of the amount of money that you throw at him so we'll have to wait and see what happens throughout the rest of the episode as to whether he actually comes in or not but uh, we can't uh, find anything out yet because we've got to play this game away against Everton now of course we stepped up to legendary recently and we did actually play Everton uh, away from home at Goodison Park in the Capital One Cup whilst we were still on world class in the snow and uh, it was a 2-2 draw they took us to extra time and we were able to sneak a 3-2 victory but I was definitely wary of the threats that Everton pose of course we had our uh, most recent loan spell in the my player series at Everton Football Club so we know exactly what they're all about what sort of threats they pose and how good they are both going forward and defensively so I knew what I was up against but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can stop what's coming but uh, fortunately though Petr Cech was uh, was able to stop what came there which was um, a guy gay breaking through the defence and uh, having a good shot this is actually a separate corner to uh, the one that they just won there but we're actually going to catch him on the counter attack here Eden Hazard is going to find Alex Pato who's got a great run on the outside of him from uh, Andre Scherler finds a bit of space great first touch to play in Eden Hazard who after playing the first ball ran all the way down the pitch just pumped those legs and uh, made the the great 50-60 yard run and unfortunately Tim Howard was on top with uh, with a good save to palm it out for a corner but we're going to whip it in Andre Scherler whips it up goes Raphael Varane another good reaction save from Tim Howard and Everton scramble it clear so chances at both ends for both teams hoping that we were going to be the ones to, to make the initial breakthrough though we're still pushing in the first half Danilo pushing forward on that uh, on that right hand side loves to uh, to make an overlapping run from right back Royce probably could have taken that a little bit further on if I'm honest but uh, still another good shot but a good save again from uh, from Tim Howard so made a couple of changes in the second half Luka Modric and Lucas Piazza on on for uh, Ramirez and Andre Scherler trying to freshen things up in the middle and out wide to try and uh, get that extra little bit of creativity we needed and uh, that extra little bit of uh Makes a little bit of finishing quality on the pitch to make sure we could take the lead. Pato's going to try and uh, square the ball here for Marco Royce. Actually gets headed clear and unfortunately we, we aren't able to create anything quite yet. I probably could have shot there with Pato rather than trying to stand it up. It was rather uh, a weird choice from me. Perhaps my decision making needs to be a little bit better. But Lucas Piazza drives into the box, squares the ball across. This time there is a man on the end of the cross and it's Alex Pato, the man that put in the last cross. And uh, we take a 1-0 lead with 10 minutes to go. But Evan, we're going to come back at me, try and get themselves back on level terms if they possibly could before the end of the game of course like we said they did draw against us after 90 minutes in the previous game but a wonderful save from Petr Cech down low great saves from both goalkeepers in this game to keep it at 1-1 one 1-0 one, uh, rather and that is how the game was going to end so we just about managed to get all three points in this one away at Everton good performance from both sides but uh, we did just enough so well, we got a lot of options when it comes to uh, bringing in a new striker to the club Neymar is one of the options we're trying to bring in of course we're looking at uh, potentially paying upwards of £50 million for him. They turned down the initial £50 million bid we put in, so we'll offer 55 The uh, The bid that we put in for Luis Suarez, I believe it was £32.5 million, has been accepted, so we can offer him contract terms. Of course, we're looking to replace Luis Muriel, who moved on yesterday to Manchester City for £75 million. Sergio Aguero, they rejected the initial £35 million bid, but they only want £3 million more, so I am definitely going to follow that up with a £38 million bid, and it looks like we should have that one accepted as well well and uh, indeed it was accepted so we're going to offer Sergio Aguero contracts both he and Lu uh, Luis Suarez have, uh, have got uh, contract offers going in for them uh, as of course we're still waiting to hear from Leo Messi the uh, the offer for Luis Suarez has been accepted but I'm going to stall on it because I would prefer Sergio Aguero over Luis Suarez right now but of course we still have the potential of Leo Messi coming in at the end of the season as well the 55 million pound bid for Neymar was rejected so I'm actually going to go in and offer 60 million pounds so a uh, huge offer for Neymar of course we can afford his wages we've still got a huge uh, transfer budget and wage budget sat there Messi rejected Projected £450,000 though, so I fiddled with my budget yet again. We're actually going to offer him £500,000 a week. Half a million pounds a week. Two million pounds a month. There's mental, mental figures being thrown at Leo Messi here. We'll have to wait and see if he accepts this deal. We're offering 
Uh, that's just a mental amount of money. I can't even imagine why what you'd spend £500,000 a week on. But unfortunately, he decided to reject that offer as well, continuing to say he loves his current club and uh, he doesn't want to uh, to move. He says you can revise the offer and they'll take it into consideration, but if he's not going to accept five hundred grand a week, I really can't justify paying any more, and uh, we probably won't be able to bring Leo Messi in. So unfortunately, we're going to have to settle, quote-unquote settle, for Luis Suarez, Neymar or Aguero. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, and we're going to offer Neymar a, qu a question, or ne offer him a contract here, and uh, you can see Sergio Aguero has accepted his contract offer. We are, in the end going to accept the offer for Sergio Aguero. The Argentinian is going to be joining the club, coming in at full £38 million from Bayern Munich. They've recently bought Jovetic from Manchester City, which is why City decided to come in and buy Luis Muriel from me. So it's almost as if the the whole thing was arranged between the three clubs. And of course, because we've decided to, uh, to sign Aguero, it means that we won't be bringing in Luis Suarez. I could bring him in, but I don't need Suarez, Aguero, Neymar, uh, not Suarez, Aguero, no. Suarez, Aguero, Pato and Remy. Full strikers is too much, especially strikers of that quality. I cannot guarantee all of them the football that they would need to uh, to remain uh, in the right state of mind and be happy. So, uh, unfortunately, Luis Suarez is getting rejected as is Neymar, uh, even regardless of the fact of whether I want to bring him in alongside Aguero. I physically cannot afford him right now. So, we're back to, uh, to Capital One Cup action in the last game of the episode. We've got Arsenal again. We won the opening leg yesterday by three goals to nil at the Emirates on legendary so we're definitely playing very very well right now we've got Sergio Aguero into the starting lineup for his first game his debut is coming in the game against Arsenal in the Capital One Cup hoping to progress through to the final because as you can see on screen the, the other semi-final was actually Bournemouth against Wolves would you believe it so uh, Wolves are through that is actually a, a second leg final result there 5-1 so Wolves are in the final and they're going to meet either ourselves or or Arsenal at Wembley to fight out for the Capital One Cup. And Benzema had the first option, or the first chance there, actually. Uh, good shot, good turn, and unfortunately couldn't quite find the bottom corner. Goalkeeper was motionless, though, so had it been on target, it probably would have found its way into that bottom corner. But Andre Scherler steals the, way, the ball away here. Still in the opening 10 minutes or so. Finds Sergio Goro, great turn around the defender. Unfortunately, though, the, the outside the foot shot, I put too much behind it. And I'm still getting used to how much power I need to put on the ball with Aguero, because he does have quite a strong shot by defense. So if I put too much on, of course, it's just going to elevate way over the top of the goal. So uh, hopefully I can get to grips with Aguero sooner rather than late. And we almost managed to get ourselves a goal there as well through Ramirez. Nice little snapshot. But uh, again, unlucky, just kind of drifted away from the goal rather than being able to find that bottom corner. Similar to the other uh, chance from Benzema. But Ertzel's going to come forward here, gets away from one defender, gets away from two and finds the back of the net in first half stoppage time. Arsenal have a 1-0 lead. Now they still need another two to at least take us to extra time. Because of course, like, we said we won that opening leg 3-0 so if we could just get one goal in the second half you have to say we probably would win the tie and go through to the final ourselves Willian holds them the uh, the man off perfectly well there and whips in a great cross Sergio Aguero with a diving header is uh, is denied by the goalkeeper they're actually playing uh, Fabianski in this one as opposed to, uh, to Wojciech Szczesny perhaps a little bit of rotation because uh, they too have uh, quite a tired squad but Sergio Aguero wins the ball back off the Arsenal man there Ramirez is going to find him with a great lob through ball and he rifles the ball into the back of the net it's Chelsea 1 Arsenal 1 it's Chelsea 4 Arsenal 1 on aggregate Sergio Aguero has a debut goal to fire us into the final of the Capital One Cup great lob through ball there from uh, Ramirez perfectly weighted and a tidy little finish from the Argentinian man it means that we will head into the Capital One Cup final. Now, a couple of more replays and a couple more uh, chances for each side before the the game actually ended. I was trying to extend the lead if I could, just for pride's sake, trying to uh, to win the game outright so that we could say that we won both legs against Arsenal. And I made a couple of changes to try and uh, force the issue. Though, of course, as you can see, brought zero one for Benzema as well. But made a couple of similar changes to the game we made before, bringing on Luka Modric, etc. So uh, he has been a very very good signing for us, actually, Luka Modric. A lot of a couple. A couple of you were uh, perhaps a little bit dubious of that move because he is a little bit older, but he has played very, very well. In fact, even though he's now 30 years old, has actually gone up in rating as well. So we're pleased with Luka Modric, to say the least. But we do, unfortunately, only come away with the draw, but it is enough to see us through to the final of the Capital One Cup. So we'll be taking on Wolves in a, in a live com later on. Uh, it may come this week. It may be the week after. I'm not entirely too sure when the game is uh, is put into the fixer list because, of course, it will be in uh, in 
February and we're still in January. We've got the uh, the January transfer window comes to a close tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. But as you can see, confirmation through to the uh, to the final against uh, against Wolves, and uh, we actually get an, an offer for Thibaut Courtois just before the the episode is going to end here. And I am actually going to turn it down, even though Thibaut Courtois is uh, not seeing as much first team football as he perhaps would do ordinarily because Petr Cech, now 33 years old, still hasn't dropped in stature at all. So he's still our best goalkeeper and I am still going to maintain to play both him and Tibble on a rotation basis. But we'll have a quick look at, uh, at the league table to see where we are. Of course, that win over Everton has given us an extra three points. We now sit 10 points clear of all three teams now in the uh, in the Champions League spots. Arsenal, Manchester City and Liverpool all on 51 and then uh, Spurs and Man United on 50 and uh, we're clear by 10 full points. So hopefully we can maintain that for the 15 games left remaining in uh, the Barclays Premier League. We've still got the uh, the knockout round to the Champions League yet to come and uh, we're still in the FA Cup, still in the Capital One Cup. So still on for a quadruple this year if we possibly can. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind be absolutely superb of course there will be a my player episode later on tonight as well so check your sub boxes for that if you aren't subscribed to the channel already then definitely do so there'll be an annotation on screen on the left and a link in the description to do so if you, uh, you want to make sure you don't miss out on any series that comes on this channel if you want to know what and when i upload there is a schedule in the description and on the about tab on the channel page as well and uh, there will be links in the description to my twitter and instagram if you want to follow me over there but that's all for to this afternoon to, of course like i say my player later on tonight but for now I will see you next time.